Hello there, today I will show you how to install Project Send in Ubuntu server. In this tutorial, I have already pre-installed Ubuntu server. Now let's SSH into the demo server. As you can see, the server is already updated with all the latest packages. Now let's get started. First, we need to install a database and some utilities applications. Follow the command on the screen, or you can refer to my blog for more information. The installation may take a while, I will now fast forward the video. Now, we need to install some dependencies packages, you may refer to my blog for more information, link in the description below. The installation may take a while, I will now fast forward the video. Once completed, we need to make some configuration changes to the PHP file. Type the following command to edit the file. Press Ctrl W to search the content of the file. You need to search for memory underscore limit. Change the value to 256M. Now, let's search again. This time, search for upload underscore max underscore file size. Then, change the value to 200M. Now, let's search again. Search for max underscore execution underscore time. Now, change the time value to 600 seconds. Now, let's search again. This time, search for post underscore max underscore size. As same, change the value to 200M. Now, let's search again. Search for date, full stop, time zone. Now, change the time zone accordingly. Depending on your location, it will be different than my location, so please change according to your time zone. That's for all now. Next is to save the modified file. Press Ctrl X and then Y and press enter key. Next, we need to ensure the database is secured. Type sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. As this is a new database, I have not configured the root password yet. 
If you already have an existing configuration, then you need to log in with database root password. For this demo, I will just press the Enter key. For this option, just press the N key. If you already have the database root password configured, you can safely ignore this prompt. Else, it will be good to configure a password to protect the database. If the database is a new installation, it is recommended to remove the default anonymous user account. It is also recommended to disable remote login for root account. This way, only local terminal are able to log into the database and further protect the database. This option will remove the test database and all the access to it. For the changes to takes effect, reload the database now. Now, we need to create a blank database for project, send. Type, sudo, mysql, dash, u, root, dash, p. Key in, the mysql roots password. Upon successful login, let's create a blank database, name the database as, project send. Type, create, database, name of the database, in this case, project send. Next, we need to create a database user to access the newly created database. Type, create, user, the user's name, in this case, it's project send user, then the alias sign, followed by localhost, identified, by, the user's password, in this case, project pass. Once the user is created, we need to grant the access of this user to a specific database. Now type, grant, all, privileges, on, project send, full stop, asterisk, to, project send user, alias, local host. For the changes to take effects, type in the following command, flush, privileges. That's all for the database configuration, now type, quit, to exit the database command prompt. Next, is to download the latest project send files. Type, sudo, wget, dash, o projectsend.zip, https colon slash slash www.project-send.org slash download slash 614. At time of this video, there might have a latest version, always check their website for the latest version. Once download complete, we need to extract the downloaded zip file. Type the following command, sudo unzip project send.zip dash d slash var slash www slash demo.com slash project send. The path may be different from mine, please extract according to your published website path. Depending on your computer, this may take a while. Once the files have been extracted, we need to change the working directory. Type the following command, cd, slash var slash www slash demo.com slash projects and slash includes. The path will be different from mine, 
so change the directory accordingly. Project Send have already included a sample configuration file, let's make a copy of that file and name it to sys.config.php. Type in the following command, sudo cp sys.config.sample.php sys.config.php Once done, we need to modify the configuration of the file. Type in the following command. sudo nano sys.config.php Press Ctrl W to search the content of the file. Search for db underscore name. Change the database name as per created earlier, ensure the database name is correct. Now, let's search again. Let's search for db underscore user. Change the user's name accordingly, the user's name is, as per created earlier. A few rows down below, look for, db, underscore, password. Change the value to the user's password accordingly. In this case, we have created the password called, project pass. Now, let's search again. This time, search for max underscore file size. Change the value to 2048, which is 20 megabyte. You might want to put in a higher capacity if you want, such as 20480, which is 200 megabyte. That's all for now. Proceed to save the changes and exit. OK, now we need to grant the appropriate access to projects and folders accordingly. Type in the following command. sudo ch own dash r www data www data slash var slash www slash demo dot com slash projects and Ensure the path is as per your path. Next, grant the following privilege by typing sudo ch mod r 755 slash var slash www slash demo dot com slash projects end. Next, is to secure the configuration file by preventing access to it. Type in the following command. sudo ch mod 644 slash var slash www slash demo dot com slash projects and slash includes slash sys dot config dot php. Now, the configuration for Project Send is completed. Next, is to configure the Apache web server to publish the Project Send website. Type in the following command, sudo nano slash etc slash apache2 slash sites enabled slash demo.com.conf. Your Apache website configuration file name may be different, please replace it accordingly. Next, is to follow the on-screen instructions on modifying the content of the Apache configuration. Your file may not look exactly like mine, but the configuration will be almost the same.
Once completed, proceed to save the file and exit. Next, is to enable Apache modules accordingly. Type the following command, sudo a2en mod rewrite. Next, is to restart the Apache server. Type in the following command. sudo systemctl restart apache2. Once the Apache server is restarted, open your favorite internet browser, such as Google Chrome browser. Type in the following URL, http colon slash slash demo.com slash project send. Your URL may be different than mine, so replace the URL accordingly. Once the website have successfully loaded, you need to initialize the configuration. Type the URL for project send, and also you need to create an administrator account. Ensure that the administrator account have a valid email address and a strong password. As this is just a tutorial, the email address use is just a dummy email address. Now, log in with the newly created administrator account earlier. Once you have logged in successfully, you should be able to see the dashboard. There are many functions and features available in Project Send. Please explore around and if you need further information or help, you can always refer to their website, link in the description below. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel. It will be a great motivation for me.